Hello students. So now we are going to come back into the chapter of matter again. Right? As I have already explained to you in the previous lesson, I have already told you what is matter. Alright? Now, I have also mentioned that matter exists in three states. Am I right now? Three states. Yes. Three states. Yes. Yes. Three states. Yes. 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 Yes, the cutter is the same solid, liquid, yes. and gas. Am I right not? Yes. Three states of so, uh, matter. Alright? Now, these three states change into one another. So, solid changes into li liquid. Alright? Liquid also changes into so solid. Now, liquid also changes into gas. Yes. And gas changes into li liquid. And gas also changes directly to salt. Solid. And solid also changes directly into gas. Are you clear students? Now, in the previous lesson, I have given you an example of water. Right not? But water doesn't undergo one process. Which is what? Solid directly changed to gas. Water doesn't undergo this. Are you clear? Now, let's go through again. Now, if solid change to liquid, what do we call this? Melting. Very good. Marisha, Bagos, melting. Now, liquid change to solid? Freezing. Am I right not? Freeze, freezing. Now, liquid change into gas? Boiling. Boiling or condensate? These are two different processes, yeah? Boiling and condensation are, is not the same. But, both also changes from liquid to gas. Now gas to liquid, what do we call this? What do we call this? I'm sorry, I've done a mistake here. Evaporate. Yes, good. This is evaporation. Evaporation, forgive me. Yeah? Now I repeat, boiling and evaporation is not the same. Boiling and evaporation is not the same. same. But both also changes from liquid to gas. Now, gas change to liquid, what do we call this student? Condensation. That's right. Now, if solid directly changes to gas, or gas directly changes to solid, without undergoing tanpa melalui keadaan liquid, this is called what? Sublimation. Sublimation. So, water does not sublimate. What are examples of substances that sublimate? Number one, example of substances that sublimate will be dry ice. What is dry ice? Solidified carbon dioxide. Alright, dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil apa? Ice cream. Ice cream. You know the ice cream man who come door to door to sell ice cream? Now, dalam dia punya peti ice cream tu, inside that, dia bukan letak ice cube. Tak ada. Dia letak dry ice. Untuk menyejukkan, to cool all those ice cream so that it does not melt. When the carbon dioxide changes, the dry ice, it changes directly to carbon dioxide gas. So, in this way, there is no liquid. Are you clear or not? Now, another substance that sublimate will be, will be iodine. Iodine. Alright, so these are two examples of substances that sublimate. Means, they directly change from solid to gas or gas to solid without going through the state of water. Sorry, sorry, liquid. Without going through the state of liquid. liquid. Understand now, students? So, I hope you are very clear about this, yeah? Alright, thank you.